everybody. This is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Well, you will have all seen my swatches that I did on the Karen Dash Neo Color 2s uh, on the Facebook group. And everybody really um, commented on how lush and whatnot they are. And I agree with that. And what I usually do, you'll see, is I always swatch out um, whatever I've got. So watercolors, um, I've even got these fine tech, this set of fine tech, which are just absolutely gorgeous. And even though they've got the names here, um, I still swatch them out, okay? I need to actually cut it down to fit it into my palette. But anyway, I even, at some stage, I've made swatches in my books, in my journals. And I've also, let me just show you here, got swatches that I have made onto pieces of card. And then I've put them into a... Um, plastic sleeve and then I've even photographed these and put them onto my phone so that when I go off to the art store I know that I'm not buying up doubles so these are acrylics these are my Copics okay that's a girl with no eye um, and yeah that's how I've swatched I've even swatched if you can call it swatching all my pens well, not all of them, but a lot of the black pens. And one of the things that I picked up on an Art Journal Junkie, the Facebook group, is that many people don't know or they ask for advice on what pen actually will go over certain mediums. So I thought, well, that's a very good idea. It hasn't helped me having all of these... Oops, sorry, that was just me throwing my books on the floor. Um, it doesn't really help me to have all these beautiful swatches and not know what's going to work on them. So I thought, what a way to use a really ooky colour that I don't think that I'm going to use in a hurry and see what works. So on the back of my swatch, um, my new colours, I'm going to take a colour that I probably am not going to use. Um, I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm not going to use black. But I also don't want it to be too light because I want to try the the white. Oh, what the hell? You know what? Let's just use, see what this is. And let's put it on. Oh, it's quite dark. Okay, so we'll do some white stuff on there. And then maybe we'll do some black stuff on... Uh, I know this olive. Let's just have a look. This olive is actually quite light. Uh, light olive. Is this light olive? I can't even see this. Yes, it is. So we'll put some here. And we'll give it a wash of water. Whoops. Okay. So it's quite a dark color. So anyway. we're going to use that one dry quite quickly and then this one we're going to wow they are lush eh? okay okay quickly out with the blow dryer because I really don't want to So now that this is really dry, um, I'm going to start off with 
white pens. So I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to do those that I probably use most often, which are, I don't use that often, I don't use that often. I use this. Um, and that's about all for the whites. There are a couple of funky looking pens here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write the name of the pen here. Um, which is what I did. Where is it now? There's something at the front here. Oh, come on. It was here somewhere. Oh, my word. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. So here's another example of where I played with the pen. Um, so I've actually written out the name of the pen on, uh, on my page. But I'm sure I had it somewhere. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So here, the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got a Posca, and it's a sm it's one of the small ones, fine tipped ones. So it's a 0 0.7. Oh, it looks like it's never been used. Huh? Really? Whoops. Bad move. Bad bad move. Anyway, we'll leave it there. So that, no, we're not going to leave it there. We'll clean it up. Because I just don't want to take the chance. Oh, hell, look here. Oh, okay. It's not like I've got to worry about a manicure anyway. So this is a Posca. 0.7. Millimeter. That's quite nice. Um, I'm sure I've got a thicker Posca somewhere as well, but would be quite nice to put down. So here we go. I've got this one is a also 0 0.7, same thing. This one's a bit bigger, so it is a it doesn't say, but it's an L3 maybe and Posca oh this one I think is it might be dry okay, okay. Well, that's that that's that Let's take a look at um, the Sharpie oil. Also needs a good, what's the name? -y? So it's Sharpie, which it's not liking. But anyway, let's just see. Oh, it's coming out. So it's not liking the Sharpie oil nope maybe you gotta do it twice okay doesn't like that one let's try the sharpie um the watercolor one so that's better sharpie watercolor or the water-based one okay then I've got a correction fluid correction pen these ones sometimes tend to get a little bit ooky there and all I do is well if it hasn't been used uh, there we go and this is a jot jot doesn't lie so, jot, a 
correction. It doesn't like this. Maybe because I'm working too fast. But I'll play around with that again. And then the little pens or the thin pens, the gel pens. Uh, this is a jelly roll. And it doesn't like jelly roll. Now let me just check that the jelly roll is working. So, oh wait, again I can do it on my finger. Yes, it is working. So, jelly roll. Nope. No jelly roll. Uh, Signo Uniball Signo UM132. Let's have a look. Now these pens can be a bit iffy, but I can see gel pens are not going to like the wax base, I think. Signo. No, doesn't like that. And finally, this is a hybrid gel, so let's put here hybrid gel. No, nope, not going to work either. So gel pens, so I'm going to make a note here where I'm going to just write in pencil, gel pens not happy. Uh, gel pens don't work. Okay. So, in having said that, the next thing, well, we know the Sharpie oil, um, but let's look at the black one. And let's do a Sharpie oil. Come on. Sometimes it's a bit of a bummer. It doesn't like coming through. Come on. Okay, well, I'm not going to play with that one. Let's do a normal Sharpie. Sharpie. Yeah. Sharpie. And this is a fine point. Fine point. And I'm going to make a note here normal. Because then I know it's not an oil or a watercolor, a um, water soluble one. So there we go, that one works. Um, here's another Sharpie. Extra fine. Yikes. Well, that maybe could. Extra fun. Sharpie. Just needed to get going. Okay. Then I've got this one, which is a Uniball Eye. And this pretty much works on anything except this Uniball Eye. Nope. And Uniball Eye. So I think it might be that this has got a lot of um, pigment on it and there's not much, it's just at the bottom so it works there, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is giving me a good feel for what my pens are doing. Brush, this one is a Faber-Castell, oh yeah, Faber. And I'm not very good with brush pens, Castell. Brush. Okay, let's go back to the Puskas because I, I want to see what happens. And I'm going to just take a, a random color. Pusca. We know Pusca, the Pusca whites worked up there. But I just wanted to, to see. down here as well so that we know works then we've got micron pens now these are such fine tip that I use these for zentangling and um, this is a not one which is the most tiny tiny one of the tiniest tips that is smaller than this so I'm going to work very lightly with this very light hand because I don't want to damage the nib so let's have a look micron and yes it likes going over that now Micron comes out in sets um, where they go up to 0 0.8 and I do have the set. So I know 0 0.1, 2, and let's get the 0 0.8. You see? So let's have a look. I'm sure I have a 0 0.8 here somewhere. Uh, or a 0.08. There it is there. So 
also two micron, and these are, as I said, my Zentangling micron 0.8 or 0.08, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, back in the bag. What else do I have here that I might want to look at? Stabilo All. That's a favorite of my pen, uh, pencils, I beg your pardon, because it's aquarellable and it's very, very dark. So I'm going to just make a line across here. So there we go. And it'll be interesting to see, I want to use a smaller brush perhaps, to see how this reacts into the green. Now it's probably better to, or into the, um, yeah, that olive that I used. So let's see, so that, and up we go. Okay, quite nice. We can get some nice shades there. What else do I use? Pasca we've seen, um, Unipin. Now this is, uh, I don't know, we get them in, in South Africa. It's part of the Uniball line. Um, and I sometimes sometimes use it in place of the Micron. So this is a nice fattish one. And I'm going to put it down here. Unipin. That works very nice. And I think this one was a, uh, an, an 08 as well. 08. Okay. Yeah. Um, colored pencil, China markers. China markers are good. So well, let's give this a quick dry. Let's make sure it is dry. So, China marker for mark making. Oh, it works. Oh, it works better if uh, if you take this thingy off, I guess. This is why I'm a nail. Oh hell. Okay. I'll come back to this one. There we go. That's what I should have just done. Okay. So this is a China marker. I can feel that's still a little bit wet, so I'm not expecting, uh, where's the black one? Oh, here is a Reflections pencil pen, a uh, filter pen. That works. Oh my word. Guess what's going to become my newest favorite black pen? Ha! And, um... And then, last but not least, what I've done is I've got out my, where is it now, my quill pen, which is just a, it's got a nib, and some Indian ink, and I want to see how that works. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to just load my tip a bit, and I'm just going to write here, Indian ink. And that works great. Oops, lucky I got that out in time. So, now I've got a very good example of all the pens that work well on my uh, Neo Color 2s. And I also have my swatch there, so when it's in my tin and I'm uncertain as to what I want to work with, um, I have it right there. Fantastic. So, peeps, I hope this little video has helped you. And um, go out and swatch your own colours and check with your own pens what happens on the back um, of your swatches. And have a wonderful day. Come back and uh, see me soon. And also come across to Facebook to Art Journal Junkie. Join us there. We've got over 10,000 members now. Whoop, whoop. And um, we really are inspired and we enjoy ourselves. So have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.